Hey everybody, welcome to the first episode of Burnout Revenge. For those who are not familiar with uh, Burnout games, obviously it's a car game, racing game. But something unique about this one, Burnout Revenge, that not many games actually uh, replicate. It's all about making your opponents crash. There's pile-ups you can do, as you can see. There's also some actually some good racing. You can F up your opponents pretty good. Thought it would be pretty fun to just show it off a little bit. There's a lot of cool cars you can unlock and all that. But the main thing is doing the pile-ups. They're one of the funnest things like ever invented. Where you just literally... All you do is crash into like an intersection. And uh, you see how much damage you can cause. It's actually uh, really fun. But the other half of the game is like racing and uh, taking down your opponents. There's a lot of takedowns you can do. You can flip them. You can knock them off the edge. There's special ones you can do. That would be pretty fun to, uh, yeah, play some Burnout Revenge. It's a 2005 game, Electronic Arts Incorporated, all rights reserved. Sure, whatever you say. We're going to create a profile, have some fun. We're going to call it Course. Uh, can I, like, name it here? You gotta literally press backspace. I'm trying to press buttons. Let's uh, call it Dan's Gresham. Where's the S? C. C? Come on. I wanna create a new profile just so I can uh, keep track. Okay, well, it's not gonna let me do actually. Uh, you only have so many letters. That's bunk. Can never spell out my name. Always gotta revert just back to Dan. That's okay. And I've already won a Madden van because I have NFL 6 saved to my Xbox. So, awesome. The Madden van will be, uh, I guess we gotta erase one of these. This one has the least amount of time, so overwrite this one. I've played this with friends and played it over by myself. It's just a really fun game. This used to have Xbox Live as well, which back then you needed like to buy a separate thing compared to uh, it being built in to your console. This is on the original Xbox, the big clunky one. You guys all know. I got like the biggest controller known to man. So we got two events here. And then we can unlock more. But first we just got to... Uh, you go into a specific uh, race, and then there's like burning laps, race reverse, so that isn't too uh, too interesting. But the first one, called Traffic Attack, is literally uh, the more damage you do, the more time you get. So you want to run into things, but you don't want to head on into something, because that will actually slow you down. But if you like uh, rear end people, you actually don't lose that much speed, and you gain more time. So we're going for gold. You need to get all the golds to be able to unlock more races. So as you see here, you literally just ram into things while you're driving. I probably won't play with that camera angle because that will be incredibly difficult after a while. And yeah, don't run head into something or you get wrecked. That's all I remember. Should be pretty fun though. Let's see what we can do. Of course, they're going to give you tips and all that. Ten ranks full of events in Burnout Revenge. Can you beat them all? Hell yeah, we can. Especially if you guys are interested in C. I, it's either R or A to go. Well, it looks like it's R. Got a nice car right here. Gonna smash into some things, get some money. I'm actually causing damage, but let's just say we're... Uh... So where's my boost? Telling me to boost, but I don't know where my boost is. Oh, it's the the red bar, huh? So just like boost through this, and you have like unlimited boost, pretty much. 
for right now it's a lot of mayhem. Let's see if I can change the camera while I'm driving. It doesn't seem smart, does it? I, ooh, whoops. So that's what happens if you run into one car head-on. For some reason that will F you up, but the other ones won't. It'll take me a little bit to get used to the controllers because I don't know what brake is at the moment and I can't really turn properly. I thought it was going to be X, but oops. You actually do want to hit stuff, so... There's some sections where there's like hardly any... Oh my god, is those cars? I couldn't really tell, they're all parked, so... I didn't know if parked cars would F me up or not. So you pretty much go until, uh... You got the high score, pretty much, or the time ends. It starts going faster and less cars. Obviously, the first couple levels are going to be pretty easy, so... Just bear with me. This is called Traffic Attack, though. So, there will only be so many of these. It's pretty fun, though. You just... Literally, your car is indestructible, so you just, like, ram into things. Very addicting, I must say. How much do I need? Oh, I need quite a bit for gold. I just noticed the score at the top there. Double the cash because I made it uh, past one lap. It's going to be less cars though, so you got to always have the boost on pretty much so you can make it there. You want to bump cars into others so you get uh, more cash. Especially if you knock cars into oncoming traffic, you'll get a lot of points. We almost there, we're almost there. Yeah, gold. I don't think there's anything higher than that, so you can just go for. Uh... I guess you want the awesome rank. You might get gold, but you not might get five star. You make sure that's not how you break. I don't know if there's brakes on this car. I will be playing other games alongside this one. I just thought it'd be fun to kind of show it off because it is a unique game that not many car games actually uh oh my god I got there, there, there. I keep pressing X thinking it's gonna be my break but it's not maybe it's Y that'd be weird to press Y for a break challenge target acquired I don't know what that means but I'm gonna continue on See that awesome bar at the bottom though? I want to make sure that that is going to be awesome rank because that's the highest you can get. Later on you unlock more cars and uh, more challenges. This one is uh, pretty generic so to at least get you uh, familiar with the game and controllers. Controls, sorry, not controllers. Sometimes my brain just like says words that I don't mean to say. Alright, we almost got twice as much gold than we need to. Like you can literally go on for like ever and try to get a high score. Ooh, ouch. Did not see that one there. Your car gets totally decimated, that's for sure. I think a lot of the songs I'll have uh probably muted just in case copyright comes up. Unfortunately that's how uh, YouTube works. If I hear like one noise from a song then you have to cut out a whole like clip and that's not going to be fun. Okay why is change the camera angle to that crazy one? Okay we're at awesome rank we can just like end this. We don't need to like continue on for like ever. But as you can see, you could pretty much go for as long as you can. Okay, so L is like reverse, so I guess I gotta use L as a break. Sometimes you use the reverse just to like break yourself. Time up, we exploded, yeah! Alright, so you get your vehicle damage, your metal, your new events unlocked. You wanna get the awesome rank, which is the four. And if you get gold, you get up to five stars. And as you saw, there's a, a rank bar. 
you want to continue to uh, upgrading your uh, your rank. Awarded for checking a hundred vehicles. Thank you. Yeah, a lot of the awards we're gonna like pretty much just unlock passively. So let's go back to. Uh, all right, we're doing a burning lap. We can change the color of our car. Let's do a blue one. Maybe that's the secret to win. If you guys are enjoying this episode and want to see more, definitely hit that like button and let me know in the comments if you guys have ever played this game. Of course, this is only the second challenge we've had to do, so uh, we still haven't gotten like a full taste of this game, so don't judge it completely yet because we still got a lot to go. I'm going on oncoming traffic for extra boost. Because that's what you want to do. I'm going to go this way and probably get hit. Be very careful. You can barely see lights up ahead. You actually want to go on oncoming traffic as much as possible just because running into cars is a good way to get boost. Like when you're driving on your same road but it also slows you down a little bit and we don't want that whoops last car game I played was Twisted Metal and you guys seem to really like that and this one though it isn't a Twisted Metal title it has uh, a lot of chaos I know you guys love chaos let's take the shortcut here don't run into anything if possible it might slow me down I literally like can't blink right now, so don't run into anything. Woo! That was awfully close for me uh, getting wrecked. I'm making good time. Ten seconds left. Can we do it? Finish line is up ahead there. Woo! Just enough time to uh, reach that gold. And we got awesome, because the more points you drive, they'll give us five points, pretty much. Took me a couple tries, so that's why the stars aren't going down five. It actually took me like two tries. I was so close on one of them. It was like 135, 14 or something like that. So now that we've gotten everything unlocked on this one so far, as you see, there is a challenge breakdowns, uh, challenge book, challenge sheet, all that. You don't have to, have to worry about those just yet because you do come back to these levels. So let's move on to Mortar City. And I'm going to show you a crash. These are like the funnest ones in the game. This is what makes Burnout Revenge so unique. Is literally us crashing into oncoming... Not even oncoming traffic into a huge intersection, let's say, and to see how much damage we can do. As you see here, you get one chance, and you gotta f it up as hard as you can. Rolling your car into traffic is good, causes pop. Listen up, this is important. Listen up, I'm I'm good. I want to show show these homies what this game is all about. So we got the Madden truck already, which was our unlock, lockable, just from playing Madden 06, which is a good game. Madden games are super fun, especially the old ones. Nowadays, it's just too overcomplicated. I just like the basic ones. Might even play a, my career or something like that in the future on Madden. So yeah, you can use one of these cars, and if you see at the top left, it says the car name, and then Crash Breaker, Force 4, that one's a Force 1, got a bunch of 1s, and then a 7. So we definitely want to use that, because that's what you're after. That will allow your car to get uh, bigger crashes and explode even more. So you gotta hit the greens, perfect start. Now what do we want to run into, you may ask? That was kind of weak. Let's see what we can cause. Good pile up. You can uh, change the camera angle. And see, we only fucked up one side of the traffic. 
So I'm gonna give that a restart right off the right off the bat. You can retry this anytime, which is nice. I would like to hit that uh, semi, but I don't think I can make it to him. There we go. So you gotta hit the green lines. Pretty easy to do. Car isn't the fastest, but it does have a big explosion. I don't really want to. That might be bad. I'm gonna still roll with it. Because the traffic is still getting messed up up there. And we can F up the cars down here. There should be something over in this direction. It's all about just causing damage. The more damage you cause, the more points you'll get here. I got another explosion, which is nice. Can't really see where I'm going, so I'm just guessing there's going to be vehicles this direction. There was not, but we got silver so far. Target car, and we got gold, so... Even though I wasn't up top there to explode on all of them, just for me uh, attacking more of the cars, 47 out of 52 cars hit, gives you a lot of points. And then you can see where all your money comes from. You get cash all over the place. Having a big pile up like that is what you want. You want both sides of the roads to be fucked up. And then also, if you can fly off, sometimes there's roads underneath. But I just kind of flew off and it's just a park parking lot. But uh, yeah, so that's, that's the crash part of... Uh, this game. It's uh, super addicting to like try to get a high score and obviously getting gold is what you want. Those are definitely the best ones out of uh, all of them. The normal takedown races are also pretty fun when you're racing against other uh, opponents. Award for blowing up cars. Thank you. Awarded for high score. Thank you. So now we got... Uh, let's do another crash because those are fun. We love the crashes here. I want to thank all you guys for uh, showing up to check out this game. I know the beginning was kind of just like, oh, you just run into traffic, but this is where the, the real fun is. So as you see, there's another parking lot down there, but we got to make sure we hit both sides of the road there. It's kind of weird that this game and Madden 6 were like intertwined, but can I get that car? Um, and both sides. Did the other side get fucked up too? Kind of looks like it. Yeah, good. So this will be good. Especially if I get an explosion here. I'm right in the middle of everything. Now, I can't really see where I'm going, but I do know that the parking lot's down this way. There you go. Crash in a couple more vehicles. There you go. Did I get the target vehicle? Good. And I got gold right off the bat. This one was a lot easier. Trust me, they get uh, pretty complicated later on in the game. Hey, as long as we got uh, gold, I'm good. We don't really have to do it. Golden Awesome is what we need for that five star. And eventually it'll just like stop. Oh, got another car crashing into it for some reason. Still getting more. That was weird. <laughs> Took them a little bit to get there. So not bad. New event, new car unlocked. And we got a new rank. And the rank goes up from unsafe. Or is that our rank now? These cars here are actually some of them you can unlock later on in the game. What is this cutscene showing? Rank and kill. Yeah, I'm unsafe now. Awesome. You've won the compact S180. Or C180, sorry. Light. So that's a crash car. But obviously, since we have the Madden van, that's pretty much going to be the one that we're going to be using the whole time. It's like, there's very few cars that actually beat that. Alright, so we got Road Rage and a normal race. So let's try Road Rage. 
Uh, let's say use this bad boy, but change the color to like black because that looks wheat. There's not a lot of customization in this game compared to, let's say, a Midnight Club Dub Edition. If you guys are interested in more car games and want to see that game, because it's probably one of the best racing games out there, and let me know. So now I kind of skipped the tutorial there, but basically if you ride behind somebody, you'll get a boost. And you want to make sure you F up cars as much as possible by slamming into them like that. And I'll get a takedown, which will give me a full boost. There you go, there's another takedown. There's one car ahead of me. There's a couple cars ahead of me, actually. Now, you just gotta clip them and make them run into, like, the wall. Like that. Luckily, when you take down somebody, you actually, uh... Ooh! Yeah, I got a signature spot, too. So it's not really a race. I thought it was. I think some of them can be. But this one, I'm just trying to get as many takedowns as possible to get that gold rank. I'm surprised I didn't take any of those guys down. Oh, there we go. New high score. Good. So you can continue on. We want to make sure we get that awesome rank. Because sometimes you can get gold. or Yeah, you can get gold, but sometimes your rank won't be awesome. So we got to continue on effing up people. I got last one. That's some BS. There's just unlimited cars that you can fuck up, pretty much. Try to get them into the post there. That was gross. Let's see if I can catch up to some more dudes. There's a dude right here, actually. Most of the time, if you hit the back wheel like that, they just go flying. That's pretty much the secret to it. You can get so many takedowns like that. can get double takedowns as well. Right now I'm just trying to get more rank. That's not bad though. Let's see if I got some. Yeah, good. That's what we're after. Because then we get that perfect. Sick. So yeah, that's almost every event so far. So it has a mashup of... Uh, just racing and messing up people, even uh, full car pileups. Super fun, addicting game. Like I said before, if you guys are interested in uh, this game and want to see more, then let me know in the comments and hit that like button. This is a preview event, so you can actually, even though it's a preview, uh, it'll still count as an event later on down the line, so you do want to do good. But we're basically using an extremely fast car right now. So uh, I might mess up, but you always get a chance to redo it later on. Going on coming traffic for that extra boost. Careful for shortcuts that might get you messed up. Obviously that first area that we're in is pretty basic, and you kind of got used to the map itself but uh, later on the maps get really complicated and there's a lot of stuff to actually like hit yourself with and all that so we're cruising for a bruising right now sick turn go back on to oncoming traffic if we can kind of swap in between when you feel unsafe then switch it up Right there could have been bad. We're going down an alley right now, which I don't like. Because there's a good chance I'm going to fuck up. But the good thing is, it is a shortcut. So eventually, I'll make it back out on the road. There we go. Now just cruise, cruise, cruise. Nice air. Great air, actually. 
I remember always crashing at this part because uh, it's kind of a weird turn and it doesn't really tell you you have to turn. It's funny that I actually kind of remember most of these maps now. Well, that sucks. I could have got gold easily there, but I had to run into something. But that's okay. This is one of the more complicated maps. Oh, that was point one. Are you kidding me? Look at this time. I was point zero one away from unlocking that. That's okay. We'll keep it at silver for now. Could have easily done that if I didn't crash like a scrub. All right, what else we got? This is just a race in reverse, so we'll do that. We're not driving in reverse. We're just uh, doing the, the map backwards. So you can't get used to uh, the map, obviously, so they switch it up by going backwards, and this is an actual race. So you got like five different events, pretty much, where you can, it's all different, different maps and all that. You can do takedowns in races, it's just a little bit harder. Don't fall off the edge. Took second, good. I need to drive over here, I think. More chance. Oh, I got wrecked there. New revenge rival. So that guy will get a red mark over his car, which means he's my rival, or I just wanna You'll get extra points if you uh, take him down now. Obviously my um, boost bar has gone pretty small because of uh, me crashing. Get out the way, truck. Ah, I wanted to smack into that dude. I almost got wrecked there. I'm surprised I didn't. Trading paint. Ooh. That counts as a takeout for him? I haven't gotten one takedown. I'm getting wrecked, boys. Uh oh. The main thing is obviously trying to win the race at the same time. Ooh. There we go, there's one. Wasn't my rival though. I'm smacking into him. There you go, revenge takedown. He might even been two there. I was close to getting two. Now just cruise to the end, because finish line should be close. Now our rating wasn't super good there, so uh, we might have to redo that one. We got gold, but we only got great. We got four points there, not bad. I'll end the episode there. Thanks so much for watching. I'll give the episode uh, another try as well, so there'll be another part just to uh, make sure that you guys are going to be in interested into this definitely the crash sections of the game are super fun and can't wait to play more with you guys thanks so much for watching don't forget to hit that like button subscribe if you're new and comment if you guys want to see more burnout revenge it's a pretty fun racing game and it gets uh, pretty intense later on but for now i'll see you on the next episode